hello beautiful souls so i figured i would just take you guys along with me on a routine day but a routine day at 35 weeks pregnant because i'm sitting here doing what i normally do so this morning i was hungry i got up well it took me forever to get up it is 10 <clears throat> it took me forever to get up and actually make myself something to eat and that happens so often like I'll be starving if I'm too tired and I'm too lazy to get up and make something so a lot of you may already know but whew, I'm out of breath my hubby and I are like super flexitarians one day we're vegan and the next we're like sneaking chicken and it's not <clears throat> It's not necessarily because we like it or want to eat um, chicken. It's literally because it's just there. It's easy. So with that being said, um, some of our videos might be confusing because we're like vegan one day and not the next, which is, you know, I'm comfortable with calling us flexitarian because, you know, sometimes when you put restrictions on it and <clears throat> you're like, oh, I'm vegan. It kind of makes it less enjoyable. So we eat what we want to eat, what we feel led to eat. <sighs> I'm so tired. So what I'm doing right now, I eat and then I sit here and contemplate if I'm actually going to get up. And... Okay, now I have to bend over. I dropped the lemons. <clears throat> I sit here forever because the kitchen is a mess and needs to be cleaned and I truly don't feel like it which is why cooking kind of sucks and we eat out quite a bit but anywho um so things that i have to do today like i just said the kitchen is a mess i have a lot of dishes to do but i'm gonna rinse this plate off be right back so i'll come back downstairs later and and get to cleaning up and cleaning the dishes they've been sitting there since yesterday i'm just so tired but for now, I'm filling up my water. That's another thing that we're we're kind of in between. So we really prefer to drink alkaline water. We love it, it tastes so much better, but hell, we just do what we can. <laughs> um, we do really like Crystal Geyser. That's on the approved um, list, the approved Dr. Sabi list for alkaline water. So we usually get that, it's really cheap. It's usually a dollar at the dollar store and Safeway. Steps are not my friend. So, things that I have to do today. Our bedroom is a complete disaster. And, whew, Our room is a disaster and I have a lot of laundry to do. I have like three loads of clothes to fold. The sun is blinding me. Okay. Whew. Like three loads of clothes to fold and a closet full of clothes that needs to be washed. So I'm going to get into that today. And our hospital, hospital bag is still not packed. So I'm going to go ahead and get into that. <clears throat> I'll make sure I get that done today. <laughs> I can't believe how out of breath I am. So once I get that packed, I'll show you guys what's in there. And also, I'll take you in Summer Lily's room. So... What we've recently moved and we have a lot of bags of just like dishes. So I need to do something with that. I need to empty it out. But for the most part, it's all set up and ready to go. Our photographer that took our maternity pictures made that for us. I love it. It's beautiful. And it's perfect for her room. I wanted to do her room white and gold with like pink accents and i was gonna go and buy all this stuff which is not like me i'm a super minimalist really for the most part and then i thought about it and i was like i have so many pictures already like i just want i'm just gonna use what we have that's her bookshelf she has a few more books but those shelves you can't put too much and there really is a new room <clears throat> and 
my mom painted that at a sip and paint. She actually didn't follow what what the instructor was teaching us. She just freehanded that. So I love it. I love it so much. She did pink and blue because we didn't know what if we were having a girl or a boy yet. So there's that. Oh. And this I painted myself while I used um, oil pastels. And I was going to get rid of it. I did it so long ago. And it just worked out perfectly. I feel like Summer's room is just very personal. And what else do I have to do today? And I have some creating to do. I have some jewelry to make. I'm going to make a set with this titanium quartz that's gonna be super pretty excuse our bed like this is raw and real this is exactly day in the life of what it's like 35 weeks I'm tired <laughs> I'm very tired so I'll be back to show you what's in the bag okay I'm back with my hubby so, so I didn't do anything today <laughs> I've been in bed with a migraine all day long, but we're going to get free smoothies. If Hopefully. you wear flip-flops, you get a free smoothie from Tropical Smoothie today. So, hopefully. what do you mean hopefully? We're going to make it. <laughs> so, that's what we're about to do right now. And then... I'm <laughs> he said something about receipts receipts everywhere we get nothing but deals we're super coupon people but yeah so we're going to get our smoothies and then I am coming back and I'm going to package up some orders that we got today and you know what kind of smoothie you're getting uh, free smoothie gang yeah, shout out to uh, what's it called camp sunshine <laughs> Hold silly on. Everybody had the same idea. <laughs> I really you don't know how to like walk and record. No, I don't. <laughs> I mean, what do you want me to do? I really thought that we were the only people on the planet that owned flip flops, but I guess not. <laughs> well, I just got the my uh the ones we got on right now. I know. Old Navy game. We had to get those for today multi-purpose and to use in the shower at the hospital so we walked in there talking about some yeah can i order the, uh, the uh, detox I, the detox we over here can i order the uh, a key and all that she said Get, it comes with the sunshine only is it a sigh i can never remember is I'm, it a sigh it's not a key i'll say a key you pulled up to starbucks at time like i have the a key she said <laughs> the aside yeah, the, thank you so we so. got the prego lady some free stuff. We <laughs> had to drag you. her out. We made it happen though. And I'm getting right back in the bed. When we get back, I have a super, super headache. It's awful. You still recording? Yeah. We're about to hit the gym. Can't get fat out here. Gains alert. Hmm. Why'd you have coffee this morning? Dang. Yeah. Hmm. Can you? No, I'm not. I was just wondering. So, you want to tell them what we have planned in the background before we get off of here? Listen to one of my mentors, David and Amitia, talking about your most important and powerful asset, your mind. So, that's what keeps me sane, dealing with my little prego over here. <laughs> so, you know, but... This but, yeah. is Conceive, Believe, Achieve. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. You all ready? So we're on our way back. He's leaving me and going to the gym. She don't She don't want me to catch these gains. So for the guys out here, you can't let your significant other finesse you. That's how you end up getting chubby. We just have to go ahead and get the mansion. I have to make sure that we have a gym built for you because... I hate when you leave. Don't let your significant other finesse you. <laughs> My belly coming back and all that. It's a wrap for all that. You said your belly is coming back? If you ask me. Because we've been eating meat. We're just eating. You already know how that goes. 
Yeah. yeah. So we had another another cheat meal. You know, Safeway has this this special. You get like a rotisserie chicken or some fried chicken and you get side and rolls and it's so cheap and it's so easy. And today I was like I absolutely cannot cook. I can't even come downstairs to heat up my food. It, dinner is on you. So so that means go buy some food. <laughs> yeah, so that's just such an easy meal and it's such a good deal. Like, I, I can imagine that like families that have a whole bunch of people in their family, that is just such a good deal. So, anyhow. Oh no, we about to get on this Dr. Sebi function. Yeah, true. I looked at the list again. I've been looking at it for years. It's not even that it's impossible to do. Like, I love fruits and veggies. It's just giving in to cravings. But uh, I just love burritos, rice and beans. But it's time to make the transition because we want to raise summer vegan. And, you know, that's just kind of like the life I, that I want us to live. I want us to eat just fresh fruits and veggies like when we're craving something sweet go get fruit like make a smoothie make a smoothie bowl i think it's harder for me right now because i'm pregnant we'll see how it goes Are you pregnant? right <laughs> we'll see how i'll be so sleep oh my gosh yeah he sleeps like he's pregnant oh my gosh it's so annoying i think it'll be easier for me to not give into my cravings I, because right before we got pregnant like I don't think I was having cravings like that. Like I, we'll see. What is that? No. Hmm? Okay. Do you like your Camp Sunshine smoothie? Yes, yeah, what? Hmm. I wanted to donate five dollars so I could spin the wheel and get a chance to win free smoothies for a year. I'm gonna tell you like this. Shout out to Camp Sunshine, <laughs> right? I I needed to know ahead of time I would have brought cash. And then we would have donated, but outside of that. We're always trying to change people's business, how they operate their business. Because it's like, if you know you're going to have a spinny wheel, why didn't you put that in the email? If you're going to, because plenty of people would do that. Like, I definitely would have given them $5 to spin the wheel, win a prize, and enter to win um, free smoothies for a year. Then, I, then we can really be vegan. They should have made people download the app and use a geotag to inform them. Woo! Oh. Wowzers! We need to be on everybody's marketing team. Being a social media manager, because you know that's just what I am right now. <laughs> it is a lot of work. It's a lot of work. I mean, right now, I'm doing my own stuff for eyes on b which is managing a website and social media which is facebook instagram twitter and baby pay attention please what's wrong what's wrong with it okay they didn't even tell us what was in this i know it has mango orange I said it's free. Possibly pineapple. On. She said, here you go. Mm. I thought I was about to get the berry and all that. This oh, is no I don't you, do boy. berry smoothies. This is actually my perfect smoothie. I was going to get the green detox because I feel like the ginger would help my headache. But this is perfect. This is like how I like my smoothies. Tropical. But yeah, so I'm managing the stuff for Eyes on B and a collective effort. But I just did the cutthecheck.net website. Course. Yeah, we just launched a course for that. Do you want to tell them about that? So we just launched a Facebook on Fire 101 course, basically. Talk a little louder. I don't know if they can hear you. You can turn that down. We just launched our Facebook course. It's called Facebook on Fire 101. In a nutshell, it's showing people how to build their presence on Facebook, different tips and tricks that I've used to be able to build multiple businesses on Facebook. Um, from literally nothing. So we're totally excited about that. We're ending the pre-launch right now. So it'll be the full price probably by the time you see this, which is still very affordable. Um, it'll, it'll be 97 to get started with that. And um, people are getting breakthroughs. You know, people are getting breakthroughs, taking advantage of it. I mean, if you look at my wife page from shit, maybe a month like a month ago to now, 
and you know as well as other people that have taken advantage of the course take of taken advantage of the, of the information people are getting breakthroughs so you know if, you, if you're building anything on facebook regardless of the niche um whether you're somebody who's a beginner you know intermediate whatever i definitely recommend it i mean even if it wasn't me selling it i would i'd cop it real talk so yeah i'd pay a lot more for it it's definitely changed my business but yeah no cap <laughs> i'm also managing the website and social medias for be joyful club that's a new project that i'm working on so yeah well, i'm not this isn't an advertising video i just wanted to my just, life is advertising yeah I'm sorry <laughs> not sorry i mean yeah everything in our life is basically business so that's what we have going on there's probably going to be like a link above or below this video <laughs> to uh to shop our merchandise as well yeah we I have got color t-shirts she got t-shirts as well as <laughs> what you got on there mugs all that and we're gonna have iphone cases all that so yeah it's lit yeah i'll drop all that information in the description so we're on our way home. I'm gonna turn this off and enjoy my last few minutes with my hubby. So extra. Uh, no, I'm not. <laughs> young, oh, we're young. In... The gym is five minutes away from the crib. I'm just trying to put it into perspective for y'all. Gym is five minutes away from the crib. I'm gonna be at the gym for an hour, hour and a half max. It just seems like you're gone for so long. Slow down, please. Don't do that. Why would you do that? talking about you just like playfully slammed on brakes like i'm not nine months pregnant no i didn't and borderline about to throw up but yeah it just seems like when he goes to the gym he's gone for 99 hours 